Writing code for your transputers is a fiddly task. Maybe you've tried using CROC or the NMOS compiler, but they were designed 30 years ago, and it shows. Until today, there was no easy, all-in-one solution for taking your Occam source code, compiling it, and running it. So we decided to build a proper solution from scratch. The TSS toolchain runs on Windows, OS X, or Linux. In fact, anywhere that you have access to the JVM. It's open source and MIT licensed, so you can modify it and bundle it with your own software. The toolchain comes with a compiler, assembler, fully functional transputer simulator, and various other utilities. This gives you the chance to experience the power of the revolutionary transputer architecture without needing a physical transputer device. You can see programs being executed step by step, and with our debugging tools, you can inspect the state of the transputer as it executes your programs. The compiler and simulator are really easy to get up and running. First, go to transputersystems.co.uk and download the toolchain. You'll get three executable files, the compiler, assembler, and simulator. Move this folder somewhere permanent and add it to your path. Now you'll have access to TOC, the compiler, TAS, the assembler, and TSIM, the simulator, from the command line. So here we have a sample OCAM program. Let's run it through the compiler. First, specify the file to compile, and then the assembly file to output. Next, let's use the assembler to translate it into transputer machine code. First, specify the assembly file we just created, and then the name of the binary to output. Now we've got our program compiled to a binary, let's spin it up inside the simulator. When we launch the simulator, we can specify a list of binaries. Let's just give it the one. And we'll also start it in interactive mode. This loads the program into a single virtual transputer and pauses it just before execution begins. Now we can start stepping through our program. Enter S to execute a single instruction. Breakpoints allow you to automatically pause the program when it hits a certain address. Let's add one now by typing 0 break 0x14a6. Now type C to continue executing, and the program will pause when it reaches the breakpoint. While we're paused here, Let's inspect the state of the transputer. Type 0x0x14a9, the X stands for examine, to see the memory at hex address 14a9. Type 0info reg to see the registers of the 0th transputer. There's much more you can do with the simulator. Have a look at the docs for a more in depth guide. We hope you found this quick tutorial useful. Remember, you can go to transputersystems.co.uk and download the toolchain now.